All right, here's a follow-up video on NVIDIA. Last time when we looked at NVIDIA, NVIDIA was trading at around 137 or 135 or so. And what we talked about on the last analysis was that this up gap is going to be the key going forward. You guys remember, we talked this last video. This is where the uh, NVIDIA was what we talked about was this is on this day this is where the uh, nvidia closed next day as you can see we gapped up right and we talked about this unusually long high wave doji candle there moved sideways came back down right onto this gap area and what the bulls needed to do to protect this up gap then they will find a way back to the upside what bears needed to do again this is recapping what i was talking about on the last video either they need to fill this up gap or they need to gap it lower turning this into a island top down gap right but what happened was next day again this is where we close next day we gapped up we pulled back we moved sideways entire day here but what happened that was crucial on this day was do you see that the partial of that up gap here i'm gonna make it easier for you to see again this again to see that you can see this is where we close on this day this is where we open you see that lower wick here telling us that bears trying to fill this up gap but they fail to fill the entirety of that up gap so it left about 25 percent of that up gap from this that morning you see that right here hammer candle right there again that long lower wick and then we made a little bit of move pretty much sideways and that's friday because i analyzed this on thursday evening so that's friday's action and today we come to the market and video opens pretty much slightly higher pretty much open flat we thrust above uh and make new all-time highs Perfect. and then it retests the uh, prior resistance as new support little flagging here and we continue to ride and thrust to the upside making new all-time highs nvidia is at new all-time highs everybody is speculating that there's no way nvidia can keep going higher like this it's in a bubble and this bubble is gonna pop and it's gonna burst and we're gonna go down 90 95 percent 99 percent to the downside I'm, i i bet there's so many people trying to change their lives yoloing with put options and nvidia keeps going higher and higher and higher nobody knows where the top is i don't know where the top is i am not going to short on this and nvidia continues to move higher as long as we have people out there speculating continue to talk about how much of a bubble this is and how dangerous this stock is the higher it's going to go look at that oscillator here on this 65 minute chart on nvidia if i zoom out a little bit as you can see we got the rising support we held got back up we pulled back a little bit and that's last thursday and friday right here we just crossed up today Perfect. and you can see it looks like we still got room to move before it hits the extreme overbought 
zone that means we might have at least another update energy left for the buyers to continue push higher if you're wondering where might the where the next resistance might be well we are in now uncharted territory we're at new all-time highs so we can't find any resistances but what we could do i can throw a little bit of fib here as you can see and we got a couple levels here here we are at new all-time highs now All right, the gap area is important. I always annotate the gaps here, as you can see. Look at that. If I go all the way back down, do you really think it's a coincidence? Do you really think it's a mistake? Do you really think this is a random occurrence that every time, every time, when the gap was unfilled, it favored the buyers. Gap was unfilled favor the buyers gap was unfilled yesterday or friday and he favored the buyers so as you can see with my fib extension levels here it looks like we got this zone right here 148 145 and that's probably where nvidia is going here with that oscillator just crossed up and we have a one more day upside energy remaining before it hits the overbought zone but you have to think again that if it hits overbought that it's this stock is gonna die well that's not what happened early mid part of october it hit over about right here as the oscillator moves sideways even to the downside we made at least one full week of bullish upturn that's why when the trend is up even with the oscillator hitting that overbought that momentum can carry it even further